Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Morning Dew Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on August 20th, 2021. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet, and welcome to the Daily Dew, giving you an update on our world, space weather, world weather, earthquakes, volcanoes, anything else affecting us. Looking at the last 48 hours on the sun, 304 angstrom, still lots of plasma erecting from the surface, but also a couple of very active bright regions incoming. Looking at the last 48 hours incoming, Earth to scale, little depiction there. But we're going to be watching both the bottom and the top of the left-hand side of the sun, as we did have quite a large backside event today and as well in the incoming position. So we're going to be watching this plasma filament that is still connected to the sun, but watch for this fiery region to sneak around the corner. And as well, that large plasma tornado, which is antipode to all of the action that is happening on the northwest side of the sun. But here is the event that I'm talking about. Watch the bottom left of the sun. Multi-spectrum, watch for that large whap. We were definitely affected by upwards of possible C-class solar flares. And it was a long duration as well. Just wait until you see it on the Lasco 2. So we've got that plasma filament and as well that coronal hole. And now these incoming fiery regions and one of them just popped a big one. And we're going to be able to see that on Iswa coming up. But definitely keeping an eye on this plasma filament and the interacting coronal hole in front of it. And I just wanted to show you here, this is the last seven days of imagery, Lasco 2. You can see... Definitely saw an increase starting on the 16th, started to brighten up. Little poofs here and there. And then a large whap. Pretty sizable CME. And as well, flares. It's been an active couple weeks on our sun, to say the least. Having a closer look here, just in the last eight hours of imagery or sorry, 12 hours of imagery. Looking at Iswa, you can see on the backside there, well, just about on the backside, but directed right at Mercury, a very large solar blast, solar pulse. And isn't that something on August 20th, or a complete alignment with Jupiter? Looking at a real-time solar wind for today, still very low, 300 kilometers per second, but it's the north south polarities we're going to be watching here as we were affected solar x-ray flux jumped here a few times today up to close to a c-class flare geomagnetic activity remains low looking here at the highest frequency affected the DRAP absorption and you can see at about 1645 uct or utc we were affected by a long duration pulse. Schumann Residence today is even showing a little bit of a, a buzz as well. A little bit of a blackout just recently, but an amplitude of 53, a quality of 12.9, power 35. Let's have a look at earthquakes here. The last 24 hours across the planet as it's quite of a kind of a hum right now. We're still seeing over now 350 earthquakes, according to USGS across the planet, largest being a 5.3 through the South Sandwich Islands, deepest being a pretty deep one in Fiji. I'll show you here just coming up. So yeah, it started out the day with a 5.3, but it's been continuing throughout the day through South Sandwich Islands. About a dozen earthquakes through the region. Minor activity through South American Plate. 4.2 there, Chile, 24 kilometer depth. 4.3 there, Peru, 165 kilometer depth. 
And then some pretty intense action through Haiti and as well Dominican Republic today. 4.0 aftershock through Haiti. Dominican Republic seeing some pretty deep earthquakes there. 196 kilometer depth. So subduction zone here going off. Subduction zone down here going off. What's next? Alaska is popping though. That's for sure. But let's head to the North American plate. Quinton, Oklahoma reporting a 2.9. A couple minor earthquakes to report here. Mexico City. Or sorry, Mexico, White City, New Mexico. And that 2.5 there. BC, California, Max, Border. And Markleyville, California, 2.7. Petrolia, 3.2. And a 2.9 there reported. So minor activity along the coast. And as well through Utah today, 2.7, 2.8. And a notable here, 3.1 through Yellowstone, Montana, west of Yellowstone, that's right, let's just have a quick look here over at USGS and get a quick pinpoint exactly where it was. So they did report 3.1 here northeast of West Yellowstone, Montana, and as well a few minor earthquakes just south of there. Most of the activity is north of the lake, though. Interesting explosion here reported. Granite Falls, Washington. Minor activity here reported west of Rainier. And as well south and east of St. Helens. And then interesting Seattle heads up towards the, the Olympic range there. And then Alaska reporting today, ice quakes, uh, 2.9 here, Juneau, Alaska, 42 kilometers east of Juneau. Another one here in Yakutat, ice quake 1.1. Another one here to report in Tetelik and as well Whittier, Alaska. So... Lots of activity up into the Gulf of Alaska right now. And we've seen the Aleutian Islands go this week with volcanoes. Small swarm here. McCarthy, largest in the region, 4.1. So heads up, everybody. This is the Jupiter retrograde. We are on the complete alignment today. Minor activity here through Hawaii, 3.3, largest to report. We already talked about Alaska. Very quiet through the West Ring of Fire right now. Way too quiet in my mind. 4.8 Northern Mariana Islands, 96 kilometer depth. Another subduction zone. 4.8 there and East Timor. And as well, Solomon Islands, 4.8. Vanuatu, 4.5, 112 kilometer depth. A lot of deep earthquakes here. But look at this one, 4.3. 632 kilometer depth definitely not the deepest i've seen but a very deep earthquake at that so we can expect a larger shallower earthquake to follow i am sure definitely need a heads up everybody one minor earthquake to report there turkey 4.1 and continuing action through the south sandwich islands after large earthquake over the past seven days through the region. And we've seen quite a few large earthquakes the last seven days across the planet. That's right, we've seen about seven, 7.0 7 magnitude earthquakes in the past seven days, as Dutch Sense would report. But this is definitely an uptick that was expected and was forecasted. Quite some time ago, by Morning Dew, daily events worldwide with the volcanic activity report and the planetary positioning. So watch for week 33 coming up on Sunday. And get a full update on where our planets are for the week and as well how many volcanoes are erupting across the world. Speaking of which, let's get to the Pacific Disaster Center and show you here the most recent volcanoes getting updated today. Amongst the many fires, we have about 160 active alerts across the Pacific Disaster Center. Starting out here, Shevelich 
as well. Fuego, Karamiski, as well. Reventador, Swiss Najima, Senge, Languila, Karamiski. I guess I said that one already. I must have missed one. Merapi in Indonesia. Nevados de Ruiz, Colombia. Ibu in Indonesia. Kadavur, Papua New Guinea, has awakened yet again. Semeru, Indonesia. Lubatolo in Indonesia. And that is all the volcanoes, the last. Getting updated today for the past 24 hours. We also have three tropical storms to talk about. Tropical Storm Henry, who is ramping up and getting ready to head towards the New England coastline. We also have Hurricane Grace, who has been ramped up to a Category 2 heading into the coastline of Mexico. And as well, Tropical, Cy uh, tropical Cyclone Linda, who is going to be heading towards Hawaii. Just having a quick look here at satellite imagery. Tropical Storm Henry and is gaining strength and velocity right now and most likely will make landfall if it's not broken down beforehand by high pressure ridge a category 2 hurricane as well pretty strong system will be heading through grace will be crossing mexico tonight and then will become a pacific storm i don't even know if that's happened before i should look into that so an Atlantic hurricane turning into a Pacific hurricane. Nonetheless, we have another tropical storm to talk about. Tropical storm Omes, who is going to be heading towards South and North Korea, but not, not as a major typhoon or hurricane. Pretty big and strong systems here in the Pacific. Let's have a look at the five-day forecast brought to you by Meteor Earth and as well daily events worldwide. We're going to start out here at Calgary, Alberta, as we've got a qu quite a wet and cool week ahead of us. Kind of seems like we're seeing some summer systems come through late here. And they're mixing with the cold temperatures. We could have some snow in the foothills through Rocky Mountain Pass. But watch for partly cloudy skies throughout the week and as well rain as that system heads eastward extreme weather again as forecasted through the last video through manitoba and ontario with that big low pressure system heading to the hudson bay looking at the path of tropical storm henry here and it looks like it's going to be heading straight for new york here with this five-day forecast so it's going to be an intense system as it makes landfall Monday into Tuesday as a Category 1 or 2 hurricane. But still some pretty warm temperatures ahead of it. Overlooking the Atlantic, Big High Pressure Ridge is still... Well, actually, Big High Pressure Ridge has come back after that big low pressure system moved northward. High pressure has come back to the region overlooking Europe, the small low pressure system coming out of the UK, affecting parts of Central Europe and eastward. And as well, you've got a pretty strong system here coming from Iceland through Northern Europe, Finland, and as well, some pretty cool temperatures, I'm sure, behind that with that system. I'm just going to take the winds off a little bit much on the eyes, I think. Overlooking Southeast Asia and India. Daily evaporation rains and as well. Big system here coming to South and North Korea. Looks like two lows coming out of China are going to be mixing with the tropical system Omain. Overlooking Indian Ocean here. Lots of moisture. Daily evaporation rains through Papua New Guinea, possibly heavy at times later in the week. And then Australia, you've got an interesting transition coming up. Watch for this big low-pressure system, almost 
looks like a wave cyclone developing in this five-day forecast. Long line of moisture coming from a strong low in Antarctica. And then watch as it sweeps across the land and develops this l very interesting wave cyclone just off the coast of Sydney. So big cyclone developing for Sydney this week. A long range forecast and it's going to be heading straight towards New Zealand. Overlooking Hawaii, looking at Tropical Storm Linda will be affecting you guys Monday into Tuesday. So both Monday and Tuesday, two tropical systems making landfall, one on New York City, New England coast, and as well, Hawaii. And then tonight we've got, of course, Hurricane Grace making landfall, heading out to the Pacific, and then another tropical system to follow there. No major systems developing through the Atlantic, but I'm going to be watching for some heavy, heavy rains coming out of Ecuador, Nicaragua, Panama this week. Strong low pressure system here affecting Argentina with a lot of snow. And then watch for very tightly whipped low pressure system to head through Chile and could develop some very strong extreme weather through South America in the long range forecast. Overlooking Africa, no major weather developments in the five day forecast here, except for heavy rains, coastal regions, Western Africa, and as well, cool, extremely cool temperatures, South Africa. If you're watching from South Africa, let me know how cool it is. And thank you everybody for being very cool indeed and checking out Morning Dew Daily Events Worldwide, keeping you aware and prepared to natural disasters from around the world and as well, space weather, world weather. Thanks for watching. It's been Mike. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun and get your morning dew. Bye-bye now. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.